Good morning, guys. We're out day two. Crack out. Mm -hmm. A bit late. We set the alarm for 8 p.m., not 8 a.m. So Yeah, so we stepped in, but we woke up at half past 10, so it's like not the end of the world. We're just going to go and get some breakfast. Mm -hmm. And we're heading to Schindler's factory today, so. There we go, we're just coming up to the um, factory now. It's not too bad of a walk, about five, ten minutes. We isn't it, because we watched the film last night. Yeah, we did watch the film last night, but now we're actually at this building, it's quite a way down, so we're just going to walk down. So we couldn't go in Schindler's factory because it was sold out and we won't be able to go because we've got a mouse switch for the day that we have to break. So we're doing a tour with a little golf cart thing and it's really windy, so hopefully you can hear me, but there's a church behind um, and we're learning some stuff about the ghetto and whatnot, so it's really interesting. It's really interesting into a family of wealthy merchants. In his youth, he joined the Nazi party, NSDAP. After the German invasion of Poland in 1939, he was one of the many entrepreneurs who looked for easy profit in the new territory. For little money, he acquired an ex-Jewish factory line after point? the Tower of St. Okay, Mary's fine. Basilica. Above the entrance yeah. and in the corners, there are statues of saints. Yeah, so. The spacious light interior of the church perfectly imitates the Gothic style. The design... We just got off our tour, didn't film much, but we're heading straight for food because it's blinking freezing and I'm starving and it's half past one. No and we have no breakfast, so we're going to find this little pizza place now around the corner and um, go in there. We saw it yesterday, they do vegan cheese, so Hannah can have a vegan pizza. And, um, and yeah, yeah, it was a like spot for vegan cheese, I said. So let's just go and have a look. Papers, it's actually being kind of well. You follow James? No, I think you could you really? I'm We should sit here and let her food digest a little bit. We've got some drinks left, so. And I'm covered in oil. That's nice. It's that big, like I have to hang off the table though. I know. Oh well. We're out and about now, guys. We've had our pizza. And um, we're at this like graveyard that the tour guide is saying um, the Jews would protect the headstones. So I'll show you. Okay, so to, in order to protect all the headstones, they'd cover them in soil. Now either they'd like take them off and lie them down, or they'd just literally bury them. But that's what they did. And this is the crematorium that they, they did it at. There's more up here as well, which we're going to. So here's more. Not really sure why these ones are like separated off from, you know, down here. But these wouldn't have been, Han, people that died in the Holocaust or anything like that. I don't think so. These are their relatives before the war and before all of it all happened. So in order to protect their, like, say their father or mother's grave, they buried it. Because obviously German Germany had the control, so, yeah. Here we go, in the glass lift, four sexes I was. Mm. 
Prakash. Uh... Yes. Look at the view from our floor. Back in the room now, and um, we're going to be going to the swimming pool in a few seconds. Um, just getting ready. I've got my trunks on, um, and I realised I am showing you in the room, so I thought I'd give you a quick show. I've got like a massive 43-inch, 50-inch TV here with like two chairs there. Then we've got our bed, which is like massive. Um, then we've got like a big mirror there, and then the toilet down there. Just toilets, just a toilet. And then over this side, we've got storage. Um, suitcase holder thingy there and then there's a safe with a mini fridge so so yeah that's the room is uh, it's pretty cool actually pretty, I, do, I do like it but, um, but yeah that's what we've been staying managed to uh, hook up to the TV a HDMI cable to this little adapter I'm gonna try the Nintendo switch later on I think when we come back if not maybe tomorrow I bought that with me so um so yeah, how, how are we looking? Are we nearly ready? I've got to just take my makeup off before I... That's the plan. I'm, uh, I'm ready when you are, so... So yeah, let's, uh, let's go swimming. <music> Heading out for the New Year's Eve festivities now. Um, Hannah's drunk a bottle of wine while we've been getting ready. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, you have. Don't tell me what The empty bottle is there. Can you show everybody? <laughs> I just well drank it all, right, okay? Yeah. Some of this in you. She's taking it out in a coffee cup. Okay, <laughs> don't be judgmental. Um, I've had a few vodkas. Two, a two, few three. A few vodkas? He's such I've had three. a liar. I've had three. He's hardly had any. Three shots. Look, that's all he's had. Three shots. That's all he's vodka. had. That's so sad, isn't it? I'm, I'm not a big drinker. <laughs> We're there, it's 20 past eight. Midnight is obviously at midnight, Maybe. so we're going to be having drinks before, so I'm going to be fine. Nice Meanwhile, hello. I've had a bottle of wine. So yeah, we're going to New Year's Eve gathering, but first we're going to go for a drink and then go for some food and um, yeah, go and see what's about. It is, as I said, 20 past 8, so that's the plan. The night is young. The night is young. Whoop. <laughs> we're down at the New Year's Eve, it's literally three minutes until time um, as you can see there it is three minutes until 2020 and it's behind and um, we've eaten some food and stuff but now we're waiting for fireworks so literally at the square i'll give you guys a show now of uh, the situation there we go as you can see loads of people it's like an ambulance or a police truck over there but there's yeah loads of people around we're at the square and this is like the Main thing is the tree we saw yesterday. Oh yeah, counting down. One minute. Hannah's looking on her watch. She's saying, "Oh my God, it's overexposed." But it's saying how many seconds? Oh, there's a, it's 25 seconds. Yeah, 25 seconds. 30 seconds. 15 seconds. Is it gonna be 10? It's gonna be 10.
we've just left all the madness. We're now walking back to the first bar we was in earlier, um, the Irish bar, and we're gonna see if we can get a drink in there before we go back. It was nice, nicer than, um, than Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. Like it was more controlled, so if you remember Copenhagen was a bit insane. There was one guy, I didn't film it, but there was one, I think a guy, could be a girl. They were doing a firework and it literally went like over the audience and then like over the crowd like, you know, and then down and exploded. Probably a metre above people's heads. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't safe, it was I a bit... Have, so yeah, it, it went like right in towards the Christmas market area, like where they did all the food and stuff. Um, so yeah, that wasn't good, was it, Han? No, that wasn't, cool. that wasn't very nice. And considering there was more fireworks, in Copenhagen. It was much more safer, even though it felt more dangerous, mm -hmm. in a way. Um, they were more experienced. Yeah, yeah, they were. But um, yeah, we had some nice food in an Indian restaurant as well, which was really nice. Um, we went to a Dublin, like an Irish bar earlier, um, but we're going to go back guy, there now. Nicholas, I think it's Yes, I spilled wine all on Hannah's, uh, Hannah's scarf, which uh, she had it for Christmas off my sister, yeah. which is not good. Are you going to show? Is this still stained? Where is it? Upside down. There it is. Look can't at it. see it very well. Luckily for you, it's come out a bit, but yeah. it went everywhere. It's not very good. It's all over my like jacket arm as well. Um, and it's all over Hannah's Doc Martin boots that she had that she bought for Christmas. So. I'm not proud of that. We met somebody and he was travelling for hot ice hockey, which is cool. Ice hockey, yeah. And he was travelling. He lived in... He's from Helsinki, wasn't he? He worked yeah. in Helsinki from Finland. And, um, big ice hockey fan. Yeah, big ice hockey fan. He's travelling on his own and he's now travelling tomorrow towards Prague. I couldn't said. do that. Could you travel I couldn't go on my own. No, I couldn't go on my own. Like he said, he said, he said he goes slow because you have a lot of time in your mind. You're thinking a lot, you know? I don't know. Anyway, where's this Irish bar? Is it right or left? It's on this street. There it is. There's the flag. Let's go. It's closed. We tried. We tried. I think tomorrow we might go for a, we should go for a drink hand because like tomorrow's kind of like our last day where we have like money to spend. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow like we gotta obviously we got money to spend every day, but we gotta make sure that we have money every day. And the last but one day here we're in Auschwitz. So we're not actually um, around the town. We just go to Auschwitz for the day. So should we cross? Yeah, okay. Let's cross. Yeah. 